Hi everyone, it's Julie from SproutsAndStems.com here. Today's video is going to be Tradescantia Nanook Propagation. Look at that, look at that color, it's beautiful. I did film a care guide last week. If you're interested, check that out after this video, I'll link it somewhere. And yes, I'm in the same outfit because I'm filming these one after another because I'm going on vacation, blah, blah, blah. So Tradescantia Nanook Propagation tutorial today. Before we get into it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new planty content. And check out my Patreon for exclusive content like how often I water my plants, tips for dealing with house plants when you only have minimal to no light. <laughs> and also I'm going to be repotting my big Monstera deliciosa soon. I'm looking up at it in the corner. <laughs> So I'm going to put that on Patreon soon. So check that out and we'll get right into the video. I just got this plant from the store yesterday. It was reduced to only $3.85, but it's so pretty. I had to get it. Um, and this plant is holds a special place in my heart because it was one of the first plants I wrote about on my blog years ago, and I talked about that in the care guide video. But um, yeah, so really easy to propagate, fast growing, super cute plant, has these pretty pink purple leaves and the undersides are even more purple. So as usual, it all starts with a node. Nodes are the growth points on plants. It's where new growth comes from. That includes leaves. That includes um, other branches like off the main stem. That includes, what did I say already? Leaves includes roots. So all new growth comes from the nodes. And the nodes are actually really easy to see on Tradescantia nanook. So each one of these lines is a node. And I also have some old photos from an old plant that I used to have that I'm going to put up on the screen that it'll maybe be a little bit easier to see because this one is still a little baby plant. But um, yeah, anywhere there's a new leaf growing or anywhere you see like kind of a line like that on the stem, those are the nodes. When we propagate plants, we want to cut below the node. So we would cut right there so that roots will sprout from that node. So I'm not actually going to cut anything today because this is like a teeny tiny baby plant. There's not much to cut, but like I said, I have photos. I'm going to show you exactly where to cut. I'm going to show you examples of roots growing after a few weeks. So you still, I still will be showing you things. Step one to propagating Tradescantia nanook, like I said, is identify a node. Identify a stem that you want to cut off and then find a node on the stem. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to actually do it. I'm just going to show you exactly where I would cut. Say I want to take this stem. See that line right there? I would cut right here. And then after you have your stem, I personally have always had more success with this plant propagating in water. And in general, I like water propagation better because I like to see the roots, but you could propagate in other things like potting mix or sphagnum moss. So after you cut that part off, you take the cutting, you stick it in water or whatever propagation medium you're using. You basically, it's a waiting game, place it in bright and direct light, Humidity is helpful. If you have like a plastic bag, you can put over the top of it or um, like a cloche or something, some kind of like cute little fancy cloche or whatever. Humidity is helpful, not necessary, but definitely helpful. You stick it in water, make sure the node is underneath the surface. If you're using soil or moss, same thing, 
like plant it so the node is like buried and make sure that the medium stays lightly moist the entire time that a root system is developing because it's helpful for root development moisture. And after a few weeks, you will start to see roots growing. As you can see, they're basically forming around those like bottom few nodes of the plant. And once you have roots that are around like two to three inches long, that's how long I like to wait. You can pot them into a small pot. You don't ever want to like over pot, use a pot that's too big because all that excess soil can lead to overwatering because there's too much saturated soil and water for the plant to like soak up and use. You want to plant it into a small pot and that's basically it. And if your cutting is already in soil, then you pretty much don't have to do anything. You can just continue to care for it how you, how you are already. But you can always test if you like by like gently, gently tugging. And if there's resistance, that means there's some roots that have grown and anchored in. Also, this is with any plant, but if you only propagate one stem, you're only going to get one stem with roots on it that will grow, but it's not going to randomly start sprouting other stems and turn into a whole plant like this. So if you want a whole other little separate plant like this, make sure you take a few stems. If you don't want to take too much from the mother plant, you can just cut off like one long stem. Like if I did cut off this one, I could probably, this one I could probably get two um, cuttings out of. I could cut it cut it at the base and then cut it in half again and create two stem cuttings that I could propagate. But if you have like a longer one, you could just cut off that one stem, but then cut it into multiple pieces and get multiple stems to propagate. And then that's the same process. You're just making sure that the bottom of each piece is what is in the water or the potty mix. That's that. It's very easy. Let me know what you think if you have any questions. Thanks for watching today. Subscribe to my channel for more planty content like this. And I'll see you next week. Bye.